Greetings and salutations. This is Nikki. Welcome back to Midlife Adulting. Thank you from so. From the, <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Welcome. I am Nikki, and you are at Midlife Adulting, and I am so glad to see you here. I, as you can tell, as I mentioned in a couple videos previous, shaved my head. And I want to share with you the reasons why I shaved my head and why I think you should too, if you want to. I mean, you don't want to, you don't have to. Anyway, here's, here's why I shaved my head. My first most important reason why I shaved my head is because I could. I am in charge of my own body. I am in charge of my hair. I can cut it as low as I want it and there's no one to tell me otherwise. And so down, off it came, off it came. The first time I shaved my head and the, every subsequent time after, it, it's because I could. It's liberating uh, having such short hair. It's liberating for so many reasons, not just the political reasons of this is my body and I can do what I want with it, but the weight, the, the, the freedom from the responsibility of caring for hair. I don't put a lot of effort into my hair. <laughs> Even when it's long, I shampoo it, I condition it, I comb it. I don't dry it. I don't put heat serum in it. I don't put mousse in it. I don't put product. I don't color it. I don't, I barely get the split ends taken care of. So having hair that this short, there's all of those things there. Liberating. It's lighter and cooler when it's this short. Now, many people have pointed out to me, Nikki, it is the fall. I got my hair cut after that ridiculously hot week that we had when the temperatures were cooling down. Everybody's like, why did you get your hair cut now? Why didn't you do this in the summer? Admittedly, it's a summer cut, but whatever. I did it now. That's just what it is. It's lighter. It's cooler. There's, there's, mm, yes. I have cut my shower time in half. Showers that used to take me 15 minutes take me like five. I seriously, my showers are so much quicker and so much, dare I say, easier. My shampoo lasts longer. Uh, side effect of shorter shampoo, shorter shampoos, <laughs> shorter showers. I don't need nearly as much shampoo. Um, now, some people will argue that you really only ever need a quarter size. Well, when my hair's longer, I need more like a half dollar size. And with hair this short, I barely need a dime, you know, just, just a fingernail's worth of hair. And that is enough to suds everything up and get everything clean, which, because as I learned recently, apparently shampoo is for your scalp and conditioner is for the the, the length of your hair. Well, I don't need conditioner anymore. Sh my shampoo has lasted longer. Uh, as mentioned, I don't need conditioner anymore. So I am saving money on conditioner and the time that it took to condition my hair and all of the things. I, I love, I love not having to condition because you know, what's the point? It's, yeah, what's the point? I don't look like I'm thinning on top anymore. No, this was a personal opinion. And everyone I've mentioned this to before, even hairdressers, deny that this was happening. But what I felt like was that I looked like I was thinning. And there's nothing wrong with that. Women can have thinning hair. But with my hair this short, it doesn't look like that anymore. I, I got a full head of hair. And I know I don't, not necessarily that I, that I was thinning, but I did do some damage to my scalp at one point with the heat using a straightening iron. I just said I don't use things like that. Well, I used to. And I know I've done that damage before. So I know it did look thinner, but not anymore. Very pleased with this because I was really self-conscious about that. I love this hairstyle. It is the only hairstyle I have ever had. And I am 45 years old. Admittedly, I first got this hairstyle when I was like 40, but it is the only hairstyle in that 40 years that ever made me smile. To look at my hair and be like, oh my God, I love this. I, I just, I don't love it super short. I don't love it when it starts to grow over my ears, but that six weeks between the haircut and the next haircut 
it's gorgeous. I love it. I love my hair and it makes me smile and I love that feeling. I love it. it if you've never had that feeling with a hairstyle before, maybe you've got not tried the right hairstyle yet. I um, have the head for it, which I feel like is code for people to say who are never ever gonna get their hair cut this short because they're too scared, they think it's ugly, they don't like it, whatever. I, I see a lot of people in my day-to-day -day life, in my day job, and invariably one of the most common things for people to say is, oh, I can't believe you were so brave. I could never do it. I don't have the head for it. Your head looks so good. Your head is shaped perfectly. My head is just my head. You know, I don't think there's anything particularly special about my head. And honestly, I have never seen anybody with super short hair that looks bad. It just, they don't. Even if you have malformations, like I've still not seen people with lumpy heads that look bad with short hair. So just cut it if you want. You're thinking about it. Anyway, this is code from people who like aren't ever gonna do it, but you have the head shape for it. I'm just gonna say it out loud. Yes, you do. You would look fine. You don't want to do it, and that's also fine. But don't tell me it's because you don't have the head. Just to say, admit to us, all of us, that you just don't like it. It's not for you. No problem. My hair is never in my eyes. On my face, oh, that was, that was the worst thing when my hair was getting longer, is when it was next to my face. I see women with long hair wearing their hair long when it's warm enough for you to sweat and they have their hair down next to their face. And all I can think of is how is their hair not sweating to their face and sticking to their neck? How are they not just scooping it all up into a ponytail? It's cooler in summer. My hair is never in my eyes. It does, however, grow over my ear and that's when I get it cut. My hat head is practically unnoticeable. If I wear a stocking cap in the winter and I am much more prone to dressing appropriately for the weather when I have short hair by putting on a hat because you can't tell when I take it off that I've been wearing a hat. I don't get a bump, there's, there's nothing to bump. I don't get a line where the hat was sitting. It just looks like my hair. So my hat head, gone. This haircut, why I cut it like this, it makes other people smile and think and say that I'm bold for doing it. I like that. I like that it brings other people smiles, genuine smiles. I'm talking about the nice people who genuinely think, gosh, that looks amazing on you. Gosh, you're so bold. It's such a statement, especially if I'm wearing big earrings, which I meant to wear the whole shebang, the usual, the, the work standard jewelry set today. Clearly no necklace, no earrings, no bracelets, no rings, nothing. I forgot it all. Anyway, I like that it makes other people smile and they think I'm bold. This is the only, one of the only areas where I feel I actually am bold in my life. A lot of times I am quiet, shy, withdrawn, not bold. Bold is not often a word that I get to claim, except for now. And finally, the reason I cut my hair, and I think you should too, is because it grows back. It grows back. If I had cut it the first time and I decided I didn't like it, I am fortunate enough that my hair grows back. A lot of people are fortunate enough that their hair is going to grow back and so you should give it a shot if you have a problem with your hair growing back maybe this isn't for you but that's okay if you don't have this problem it's hair it grows back give it a shot thank you for watching my video to this point i really appreciate you if you enjoyed this video please like the video i love that if you're if you, if you didn't like it don't like it if you enjoyed uh, and you have something you want to say or you have your own reasons for cutting your hair hey drop them down in the comments if you are new and you would like to come back for more content like this absolutely hit that subscribe button and it will show up in your subscription feed and then you can add it to your watch later and you can watch it when you have the time and everyone will be happy, especially me because I enjoy trying to help people through my videos. That's it. Have a great day, everybody. I would love to hear your reasons for cutting your hair if you've done so or why do you keep it long if you want? That's fine too. I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.